this is a c programming question we have been given a code and we need to determine the output printed by this code now let us look at this main function which is having a for loop in which the initialization step condition step and the increment decrement step are all a function call to this particular function hence this for loop will run as long as the condition is satisfied which means the value returned by this particular function is positive once it becomes zero then we will break off break out of this loop now one more thing we must understand about the execution of for loop is that in the first iteration this initialization step is done after that we check if the condition is satisfied or not if yes then we enter the loop and perform this print statement after that we do the increment or decrement operation and then we enter the second iteration in which we will again check this condition if it is satisfied we will go to the print statement and this cycle continues we will check the condition print increment or decrement again check print do the same so this is how the execution works now let us look at this function r what it is doing it is having a static variable int num initialized to 7 and what it is returning num minus minus which means the value of num with post decrement to it so for the first time let us take this for loop over here condition and increment decrement operation all right and here we are having a print statement which is again having a function called the same function r now in step 1 over here when this first function call is performed the value returned will be 7 it is returning the same value and after returning it is doing this post decrement so in the next iteration it will be treated as 6 and since it is a static variable it will not be initialized again and again the same value will be continued so okay after initialization in step 2 we come over here again we make a function call to check the condition and this time it will return 6 all right so after this condition is satisfied we will go to this print statement we again make a function call and this time it will return 5 and we will print that to the screen okay after this this was the third function call then this will be the fourth function call over here during increment or decrement operation this function call will return the value 4 after that we will go for the fifth call over here to again check the condition this time the value return will be 3 and for the next call we shall come over here sixth call this call will return the value 2 which will also be printed now the seventh call will be over here in the increment decrement that will return the value 1 then the eighth call will be over here for checking the condition and this time the value return will be 0 now since the value has been has been returned as 0 so we will break off the condition is no more satisfied and the final output we got is just 52 the loop is we are out of the loop now and no more functions call will be made so the output we got on the screen is 52 so that is our answer